Today I'm unboxing the Graupner Racing Micromagic Sailboat. This is the carbon edition. We will not be assembling it today. We will be looking at what is contained in the box and then I will assemble it and give a total review of the, of the assembly and the sailing of this boat in the near future. Opening the box, I see some boxed items, a piece of cardboard along the bottom covering something, instruction manuals, and a lot of stuff wrapped in tissue paper for protection. Some of this is secured by tape and I cut that so that I could uh, get to it more quickly. I will now unwrap everything individually off camera and lay it out on the table. Inside the box I found the uh, carbon fiber hull and deck and inside the hull I found bags of parts that will be kept in their bags for now. There we have the uh, winch control system. We have a uh, couple pieces over here that are all grouped together. We have uh, part of a deck and part of an inner hull piece that will be used or for the uh, ballast, I believe. Inside the box, under the cardboard, I found more manuals. Don't know if that was an accident or if they made changes. We'll look at those in the future. We have another packet of folded papers, probably uh, it's it's a set of plans to show us. We have the wood parts that are mostly pre-cut, needing just a little more cut for removal. And we have a sheet of plastic parts to cut out. We have some uh, carbon fiber pieces and metal pieces. And we have a mast over here, another piece of material. Feels sort of rubbery. And some more wood particles. Over here in this box, it looks like we have Yes, there we have something wrapped up at probably the sail by the feel of it, but not certain because there's something inside the cardboard. So let's open that up. I was completely mistaken about what was inside that box because it was a lot of tissue paper with a really heavy piece of weight that will be um, secured underneath the boat as part of the balancing of the boat for when it's out sailing. Inside the cardboard, we have the two sails, the front jib and the main sail. And we have some more pieces. Let me get those next. We have a sheet of de decals to help make our boat more interesting in appearing and to be labeled. A number of the parts come bagged. This is bag D. We can see that we have parts here that will help control the main sail and connect it to the mast from appearances. So this is bag D of the parts. Here we have the parts from bag B. The pieces on the end get glued together. They go inside the hull and hold both the mast and the uh, ballast from below comes up into the hull into there. So it'll be important to make this a tightly glued piece with these two sections so that they are one with no leaks in them. Here are five additional small bags of hardware and having looked at the manual I appreciate that they've labeled and helped identify these which will make assembly that much easier. Bag I contains some metal parts that will be used to help control the ship and some um, carbon fiber rods that will be used in connection with the sails. Here we have the parts from bag C. We have the rudder. We have the uh, bar that will connect the ballast. This will be in the ship and the, the lead weight will be down there. Then we have a weighted plastic piece and some more parts. And that completes the bagged parts. Um, I use C as my last one. So there we go. Here we have the deck and the cover. This is the area that will allow us access two parts within the ship. So not a lot of parts, should be a relatively quick build. It will be built primarily using CA. We'll see if there's other adhesives needed when we get into the manual. But I got two sets of manuals, some wood, some plastic parts, the sails, the lead ballast, the hull and top, and some more parts to go together. We have a main mass that's carbon fiber, and uh, we'll get on this thing and see what we have probably within the next week. But for now, this is the unboxing video on the Groppner Racing Micromagic.